play Trundle all the way to Challenger. There's a Trundle support main that was in Challenger at one point, so I'm pretty sure anyone else can do it too. It does take a lot of dedication though. You will be raged at if you play off meta stuff. But Trundle top is very good. I actually encourage it. <laughs> Can you let me know what you mean by lane bully in your notes? I just want to make sure I'm on the same page. Some examples of lane bullies would be nice. Thanks and hope all is well. Your dad is an awesome person. BTW. Every time I talk to him, he memes. <laughs> he memes. <laughs> Why aren't my creeps attacking him? What the fuck? Um, so, for lane bullies... For, for lane bullies, it's basically... Holy shit, shut the fuck up, Nar. So fucking annoying. For lane bullies, I mean, like, champs like Riven... And, uh... What the fuck does he do so much damage to me? annoying. He kept attacking me, but the creeps want to attack him back. The creeps are probably bugged. Um, so what I mean by, like, champions like Renekton and, uh... Champions like Renekton and Darius are lane bullies. Cassio is a lane bully against Melees. Ryze can lane bully later on. Lane bullies are basically people that just do a lot of damage to people in lane. I'll explain it more later. I need to focus on my lane right now. I don't want to lose lane because I'm talking to you guys. This guy's playing overly aggressive. I have a feeling these guys are smurfs. That guy is like... Kindred really did a lot of work there. I'm actually really impressed. This game feels a lot higher level than than it should be. Um, so once again, lane bullies is basically... I need to make a list of champions, but Renekton and Darius are the perfect example of lane bullies against melees. Like, okay, here's a good one. Quinn is a lane bully against people who can't reach her. Like Renekton versus Quinn. Quinn can actually like zone out Renekton because of her her uh, ability to like just push him back every single time. 
playing bullies like Olaf, early game champions basically. Early to mid game champions are commonly lane bullies. The late game lane champions that are lane bullies are probably like broken. Like if Mundo can lane bully you out, it's like, it's pretty ridiculous. He shouldn't be able to, but he has the potential to. Those are the kind of champions that are the most OP. So in 30 I'll have TP, which means I can I can ask for bottom to set up a dive. I'm gonna keep slow pushing it because I didn't push it fast enough. Or I think I probably could, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna use this to get a TP play. Or a goodbye timer. That's a good example of a TP timer. Because I TP'd there, uh, Lee, or not Lee, uh, Lucian was able to get a kill there, which is really good. Those are the TPs worth doing, because kills are worth, like, what, a ton of creeps? Like, it wasn't, it was like an easy kill, but it was on a, it was on my terms. And Nar wouldn't be able to TP or do anything about it. Those are generally the best times to TP. So when you build a wave and it hits tower, that's the be best times. Or when your wave pushes in or pushes back at you. That, those are also really good times. <laughs> Sorry for taking over the stream when questions. I was just curious if you think anyone will play Graves in the top lane at all in Na or EULCS next split. Is he viable in competitive play top or just solo queue? I haven't seen him top yet, but he probably is viable. I don't know for competitive play though.
Damn it. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of want to try Graves top and see, because when I played him he's broken, but maybe he has a counter. That was kind of bad for my wave. Now he's going to get more farm out of that one. I'm pretty sure this game, this game is full of smurfs. Let me check OPGG. I'm pretty sure it is like Diamond Elo level because these players are not that bad. Diamond 3, Diamond... Okay, these are Diamond and Platinum players. And I'm level 25, so I have a huge disadvantage. Because these guys are all level 30s and Platinum Diamond, and I'm on a level 25 account, so that's why it feels so difficult. Where are they? They can't be top. I wait. I was missing for so long. Normally you upgrade a blue trinket, but since it's Lee Sen, I think it's more beneficial to keep the war trinket. Oh my god, I missed my Q. Fuck! That was so bad. That was extremely bad. I wasn't intentionally doing that either. Fuck, I might have to use TP top to save the tower. Fuck, this is bad.
god, Karthus didn't block the Q. Alright. I guess that's fine. So this game is basically like, I guess it's like low diamond if you go by the average. So I'm playing in a low diamond elo game with a level 25 account, which is extremely hard to do. I don't think a lot of people understand how hard it is. Like, I feel like there's a lot of new players that feel like they're bad at the game. But in reality, they're not really bad. They're just, I mean, they're they are not great, but having rune advantage is so huge. Runes and masteries, like when you hit level 30, that's when the game starts. Before that, the game doesn't really start. The fuck, you want Sunfire? This is really bad. They're doing Dragon without Kindred. I'm not sure what they're thinking. It's really annoying when players ignore the team fight to go for solo kills, even when it's not the right thing to do. because I completely block off the possibility of them going for a solo kill. Oh, the blind Q. Fuck, why am I down here? I forgot that I was dying. That was a good trade though. Dragon for two turrets for one. Pretty bad on Lee and Nar's part. Please don't enter into sub games if you're ordering food. For the love of God, please. Oh my god, my concentration's so bad. I'm not gonna play like high skill cap champions after this game. 
I can't like process all the information fast enough. I'm just way too tired right now Quiet. from talking too much earlier. Fuck off, Bard. Top, please send us. Or ignore me and go mid. That's fine. I mean, it's not like I know what I'm doing. This works too. I think I should build... I feel like I should build Maw because of LeBlanc, but I'm not sure. I think I should go uh, Last Whisper. I shouldn't have forced the play there actually, because I got to use Baron slowly. I was just kind of annoyed. That's also part of the game. Unfortunately.
So what's happening here is the reason why we're not getting any towers is because LeBlanc gets free combos on our squishies when we siege like that. So we have to like bait out, bait out when they want to, uh, when they want to harass us and punish them for harassing us. But since we're not punishing them for harassing us, we're not going to uh, do anything there. And because we haven't been doing anything for the last couple of minutes, it's just become a farm fest for a little while until someone makes a mistake at least. That was pretty cool, I've never seen that before. It went forward and then back. It was like a boomerang cue. Wow, that was like max range Lucian Q. It reaches so far. If Karthus doesn't die, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Karthus has TP, so I should be fine. I think in that fight, I should have debuted myself and then, uh, oh my god, if I queued him, he would die. I think it underestimates my damage. Probably get Baron for that. QSS might be good. Let's just go BT, fuck it. So now that my team has Baron, we should slowly siege and not do a crazy in initiate like I tried to, because we got punished for that. Just like how I, they, uh, we should be punishing them, they punished me, which was really good. I should have flash ulted him and then uh, queued. I would have killed them.
It's kind of lame, but because Kendra died, I'm just gonna go for a trade and pray that they can hold. Not the best decision of my life. I think I should just go uh, one armor item and one uh, MR item. The question is which one. That's why you don't do drag without Kindred. That's the second time this game we tried doing it. Oh no, Lucian. Oh wow. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, okay, alright. Wow, that was pretty cool. I like that. Feels like a solo queue game because this account level is 25. I could have threw that one out earlier. That's kind of hard to predict though. Now we just need to go top now. Need to group up first though. Oh, you know what I should go? I should go that Dragon Blade item, Death Stance item. Let's go with that. That'll give me me give me ten percent CDR to complete the CDR. My ult will come up a lot too. was way too ham. No one tries to dodge, I should just shoot it straight at them. Woo! <laughs> that was pretty cool, come on. Come on, come on. That was, that was pretty cool. That was like script level worthy kick.
play less mechanical champion because 